unfortunately, thousands of people in our area are being forced to deal with the heat without any power. Duquesne Light is reporting more than 13,000 people without power at this hour. That number includes people in O'Hara, and according to the Township Facebook page, that outage could last for more than two days. Meanwhile, more than 5,000 First Energy customers are also without power, most of those in Allegheny and Westmoreland counties. Ross Gadotti has more on how people are dealing with the situation. The trees actually were going all different directions, sweeping in and out. The rains were coming from the north, from the east, and I couldn't even talk to her because I was getting so scared. But as bad as it was, Ellen Wright of Marshall Township was lucky in one way. We lost power for about four hours, but it luckily came back. Lou Simonia found his front door blocked by a tree, one down in the backyard. A lot of lumber, but no power. It's been off since about 5.30 p.m. last night. In an attempt to save his food, his fridge is now off limits. Ah, that's questionable right now. I just leave it closed and we'll see what happens. West Bend Power says at least 130 crews are going place to place just to try to get the power back on. Some crews coming from Erie, Crawford County and other areas in the state. John Alker says he took two punches with the storm. No electricity, which means... We have a well. We don't have... Uh... We don't have uh, public water. And so needless to say, our water situation is not, we don't have it either. Finally, West Bend Power is asking that you have patience for their crews. They are out here in this incredible heat wearing lots of layers of protective clothing to try to get your lights and your air conditioning back on again. All they're asking for is a little patience. Where I am here in Marshall Township, they're saying people here will probably see the power put back on maybe by 11 tomorrow. That is, of course, if we don't get more storms. In Marshall Township, Ross Kadati, KDK TV News.